What's up, Smith Game friends? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to review another Christmas movie. And that is The Polar Express. That's right, guys. And before we review this movie, I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for all your support and for all the comments. You guys are the best. And also, guys, if you are a new subscriber and want to support me, please do me a favor. Consider your sub subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Turn guys on. If you guys want to see more videos, so now, no further ado, my friends. Let's review. Let's review the Polar Express that came out back in 2004. So. So the Polar Express. Um so as you guys didn't know, I so if, if you guys didn't know about this and you if you're a new subscriber and you didn't know this, so but if you're a new subscriber and also your old subscriber as well and, and you didn't know this, um I am a huge I am a huge fan of Christmas. And I absolutely love Christmas. And the reason why I love Christmas is because Christmas is a great time of year to to be with your family, have have presents and that. That's really awesome. And all that stuff. So the Polar Express is a great, great, great Christmas movie. And and it's one of my favourite Christmas movies of all time. Including the Grinch. Um, National Lampoon Crucification, um, Fred Claus, Home Alone, um, what else? Elf, Elf, absolutely love Elf, um, um, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, the movie, I love that one as well, one of my favorite, one of my childhood ones, not enough stuff, so, so this movie is one my one my childhood movies as well. So yeah, and uh so this movie is based on a book wrote by Chris Van Osberg. Chris Van Chris Van Osberg is a great author, great role, great writer for this movie. And and this movie is based on this book. And that is absolutely awesome. So, so basically, this film, so basically, guys, in my opinion, I absolutely love this movie. And which one, the reason why I love this movie is because this movie is about a magical train who takes these, take these children to the North Pole to meet Santa Claus. And that's really awesome. But there's one boy. Who has got who has got a name in this movie, but apparently his name was Chris in the movie in the book. In the book his name was Chris. So let's get so let's say so let's say the boy let's say, let's say the boy is named Chris, right? So basically, Chris guys actually was the one who doesn't believe in Santa Claus. He doesn't believe it. He actually was um, naughty, basically. So basically, the train. Actually, takes him to the North Pole with the other children from his neighborhood and different people, different and and in other cities as well, to North Pole to to show him the wonderful of life of of belief and everything. Yeah. So basically, guys, let's get into the story. Um. So it's nothing says here. I actually watched this movie. I watched this movie recently. I watched about two days two days ago. And also I watched about yesterday morning. That's really cool. So I loved absolutely love this movie. So yeah. So let's uh, read, read synopsis. So synopsis says here when a doubting non believer boy take takes on a magical train ride to North Pole 
He must learn on the journey of self-discovery that shows him the wonder of life never fades for who believe. That's right. So basically, this is your boy, Chris, as we don't, as we don't name him. He goes on his train ride to to have a to show him to show himself that that he needs to believe about our uh, believe in believe in the wonder of life and magic not in all time stop. So so yeah, so all the so all the boys and girls out there around the world believe in Santa Claus but he didn't because we we why he didn't didn't about Santa Claus is because he actually um it was the main thing about this movie it these it's the bell, the sleigh bell. As like if you hear the sleigh bell, that means you, you believe in Santa Claus. If you don't then all the stuff, yeah? So basically 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 guys, he actually go on the magical train to go to North Pole to show him that that magic and belief is the most powerful thing with powerful thing. Um, that brings the Christmas spirit to life, you know, kind of stuff, and all that. So basically, we get in the movie, we see the young boy, see Chris um, in bed, everything, and he woke up, had his sleigh, sleigh bells, and he asked to go see his father, he thinks he was a sad horse, and kind of stuff. He goes to bed, and his parents actually kiss him goodnight, and kind of stuff. Then after that, he actually hear that will be rattling, you went, you go, you go, you go, woo, woo, on the stuff, right? And then he really just go, woo, 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 on the stuff. So basically, he goes outside, and there was a big steam train locomotive with three carriages and one, and one, one caboose, basically. Or to boost, yeah. Basically, he, he tries to see. Then he goes see the conductor, played by Tom Hanks, who's an amazing actor in this movie. I love Tom Hanks, and he tells him that he, he shows him why he's not believing Santa Claus and all kind of stuff. So then he says, "Do no Paul, of course. This is the Paul of Express." So he's like, "No Paul, or not stuff." Basically, he don't believe in no Paul or anything. So basically, he has to get in the job on the train, and he's like, dead bad, he doesn't. So basically, he's out of Japan, and the train goes, so th this is where he meets the little kids and that. Um, I recognize one kid in this movie. Um, the not, the, the not all, um, kid. He goes, hey you, you know, you know what day it is? You know what kind of train it is? All that stuff. Right, he's like, huh? Where are we talking about? But so, yeah, I see the hill girl, everything, and all that stuff. And I recognize his voice. He was from what new, what's new to be do. He plays um Jimmy Norton in that in that cartoon. I just recognize him. He was awesome in that that in that cartoon. But so, yeah, so the doctor asked him for his tickets and everything. everything. Do initials and that stuff. Then there's a you know, pick up, and there's a little boy named, named Billy. And try, try to see the same thing with to him, like they do with Chris. And side, you know, then the train goes, and he signed on the train. So Chris decided to pull the emergency brakes. So he did so, and got to were very unhappy with him, and all kinds of stuff. So he let the train on. All that. So then, then, uh, then he was so angry. So then he decided to get everyone the refreshments of hot chocolate. He goes, "Ooh, we got it!" It then, "Ooh, we got it!" Ooh, ooh, yay, we got it! Hot chocolate. And he "When the water, why we fool?" All that stuff. Not very cool. And um, not very cool. Yeah. 
So basically after that, um, the heel doll decided to do Billy want a hot chocolate. And so the doctor dolls and Chris asked his family to take it. And and he didn't he didn't punch it, basically. Didn't have him punched, basically. Like you know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? So basically he lost the ticket and basically the ticket went went woo 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 went all the way back to the, to the train. And he was to punch her ticket but but then he decided to hurt you he went he went, Ah These tickets are not transferable. Basically like that. Basically not in it when you take it basically. And so he decided to go with him. He he thought he took drop foot you off the train and that's not the case. So basically he goes after them and on top of the train, this is where he meets the ghost, where it play plays played by Tom Hanks again. And he the ghost basically he went, he went, he went Oh, you mean this guy? Ho 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 Oh 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 I'm a bit better than that and he's like He's like, he's like, come on, I saw a girl here, I need to find a girl, I got a ticket, basically. So, he decided to help him, he skied him right down to the front of the train, and all that kind of stuff. So basically, after he did it on the train, guys, um, he jumped in, in, into the coal, he went, yeah! Basically like that. Then the girl there, and the engineer was dotting out the light, and went, and he stopped the brakes again till till there was caribou. Caribou guys is the Canadian word is the actual Canadian word for reindeer basically. And so he went he went caribou basically like that. And he goes he did he did the original fall he did, he shouts look he was caribou was in or oh, not basically and he goes, kill David Ellis! Kill this bloody trash! Or not based on that. And he's like, he, 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 he pulled this man's beat. Oh! Oh! And, 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 and the terrible responded, oh my. Oh my god. He got boys with his. Oh! Based on that. Oh! Based on that. He's like that. Oh my god, he's so annoying. And then he, he went, then he went, Aah! Then the battle uh, goes, he's gone, the engineer actually couldn't stop the train, but I throw it down. So, he went on this roll talk to thing. He went, Zoo! He went, Zoo! Then he went on to this, um, the ice. So, uh, I'm not getting into it, I'm not getting into what that is into his eyes and so they decided to to get back on the track because the ice was breaking so on the tracks then he got to decide to take the kids back to the the back to the seats out he punched the the, the hill girls uh, ticket and they just saw this, this scene um guys my mom my my mom Actually, hate this thing. This thing trips her out. We got Evan the Edo. You're screwed. You're a downer. Basically, like that. And basically, basically, he don't believe on the stuff. There he goes. He saw Billy singing on the stuff. And uh, Hildo singing as well. He made friends with him. All the time stuff. They went into North Pole and on the train. And Billy's not quite in sound applause. So they actually separated from him. They tried to find a way, find a way back. So Billy found a, his present, found the whole presents, and decided he went all the way back where they, where they were. So basically, then you got the elves. It he, he is all right. Go away. Things like that. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like his voice sound funny. <laughs> Basically guys. And um so then after that so they're all singing the, the rainy got ready. 
the sleigh got ready, everything got ready, and Santa Plum, Santa Plum, Tom, Santa Plum, Tom, and they're all saying, Santa Claus is coming to town, something like that, and one, one of the sleigh bells actually dropped, fall, fall off, fell off of the reins, and went from the hill, you know, the crest. And he picked it up, he went, okay, okay, I believe, I believe. And he went, the sound of drums, he went, what is that you just said? Based on that, he went, I believe this is yours. And he went, thank you. Then he chose to the boy, chose to the girl, Billy, and that. Then he chose Chris to be the one who first gave for Christmas. And that's really awesome. So, he decided to drop the gift for Christmas. And... So he said to him the bell and stuff. So he had the bell in his pocket, he went back on the train. The bell fell off his pocket. So so after that, so, so, so all the way back home, all the time stuff, all the way back home, um, saying goodbye to each other, everything. So he said, yeah, he got home, so and he went into the house. So next morning, he woke up, found a lot of presents, everything, was Awesome, and he found the um, actual gift, and he was a sleigh. He was a sleigh bell. So my friends, you should fit in the whole your pocket. Basically, you fill up a sleigh. Basically, I found him a sleigh. Basically, and the Mister C, like all the stuff. And one thing, one thing here, guys. When you when you read the and you read the, they believe, but one thing here. The adults can't hear because they don't believe anymore. Like when the adults grow older, they can't believe. Like, so yeah, and he said, it's true, but you so believe. Then, yeah. So, guys, yeah, that was the story of Polar Express. I really enjoyed this, enjoyed this story. We're, we're very magical, very heartwarming. This, this movie is a true message on to believe yourself, to believe. In one of life, believe in magic, and also believe in yourself, and, and also believe in others, and that's really awesome. And and yeah, so so guys, so guys, if you believe in yourself, and also if you believe in if you believe in Christmas, and also in Santa Claus, that make that makes you makes you a good person. You know what I mean, like everyone, like all you guys. Like all you guys around the world, in this, in this earth we 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 live in, are great people. Like doesn't matter where we come from, doesn't matter what, what we skin color is, doesn't matter how old we are, doesn't matter how, doesn't matter our age, doesn't matter if we're tall or thin, or short or fat or anything. Well, well, not fat, like 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 chunk like chunky. It doesn't matter. Like we all, we all same. We all, we all, we're a big community, right? And we believe in different things. Like, like all them kids out there believe in Santa Claus, and and you know, truly, I believe in Santa Claus, guys. I believe in Santa Claus. I never stop believing in Santa Claus because because you believe you can hear them cell bells ringing, and that's really awesome. So yeah, so guys, I'm gonna get in my notes now. I'm gonna rate this movie out of ten. I love this movie. So, so, so my notes are: my favorite scene is in this movie. It's entering North Pole and meeting Santa Claus himself. That is awesome. This film is based on the book wrote by Chris Van Allsburg. We also picked up that. Tom Hanks performed some of the characters, especially the Heel Boy. Santa Claus, the ghost, and the, the conductor. So basically, he did everything in this movie. That's really cool. Uh, this film is one of my favorite film, one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. And also, guys, this movie was directed by was directed by Robert Robert Mingus. He didn't know that he he did a Back to the Future. So we have review Back to the Future on the channel. So yeah, so guys. That was my review of Polar Express 2004 movie. 
Overall, this movie was absolutely really cool, and I really enjoyed the film. So, yeah, thank you. I hope you guys will have a great Christmas this year, and and if you do, if you do, please stay happy, stay jolly, and please stay merry, and also, please believe in yourself, believe in Santa Claus, believe, and like, like a good, like a Christmas spirit is in your hearts, like it's in your heart, and you know where it is, and you know where it's short, yeah, and also stop. So guys, I hope I hope you have a great Christmas. I hope you have a happy new year. No time to stop. Yeah. So guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Slash, smash the like button. Two days on. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. So please take care yourself. Do awesome. Bye.